Just a few days ago, I was chatting with a friend. He's the CEO of a web services company. And he said something that really got me thinking. AI has been a total game changer for developers. It saved us time, stress, and countless headaches. But have you ever thought about what could go wrong if you're using old or broken code? Boom, that hit me. Let's be real. How do we really know if a piece of code was generated by AI or if our team actually wrote it themselves? That question stuck with me. So I went on a mission, digging deep, testing tools, and searching everywhere for a solution. And guess what? I found it. Now I'm about to show you exactly how to solve this problem. Buckle up, because this is gonna be exciting. And yes, there's a giveaway too. Just like always on AI Border Channel, we have a special gift for you in this video to thank you for all your love and support. We will randomly pick two lucky subscribers and give them two free premium accounts. How to join? Super easy. Leave a comment below this video. It can be your opinion, feedback, or even criticism. Positive or negative, all are welcome. Five days after this video is published, we will randomly choose two people from the comments who have also subscribed, and they will get the free accounts. Good luck to everyone. This is where the magic begins. All the powerful tools of spy code, beautifully packed into one smart and clean dashboard. No fluff, just what you need exactly when you need it. Click on the link I've shared for you in the caption to open the website. This is the homepage of the site. And as you can see in the overview section, I haven't used this site before. Just like you, this is my first time trying it out. In the activity section, you can check your past activities. As you can see, there's nothing recorded for me yet, and I thought it would be fun to test this tool together. At the top right corner of the page, click on New AI Scan. In this section, you need to paste your code so it can be analyzed. Next to that, you'll need to select the programming language the code is written in. Languages like Java, C++, Python are listed there. To test this tool, I decided to use ChatGPT and asked it to generate a code for me. I gave it a detailed prompt, step by step, asking it to write some code that I could submit to the detection tool. It got to work and generated a long, complex piece of code. Now I'm copying that code and pasting it into the tool. I set the language to JavaScript and clicked the Analyze button. In less than a second, it analyzed the code. As you can see, the tool scanned the project and determined there was a 98% probability that the code was written by an AI. Of course, I didn't want to make it easy for the tool. I wanted to be sure it's really reliable. So this time, I gave ChatGPT a much harder prompt, one that was designed to trick AI detectors. I asked it to create a code that would not be recognized as AI generated. ChatGPT started working again and wrote some new code, this time in Python. I copied this second code as well, pasted it into the tool, changed the language to Python, and asked it to analyze again. And once again, as you can see, it correctly identified that the code was written by AI and not a human. So at this stage, the tool passed the test. It was able to distinguish AI written code. Now in the next step, I wanted to check something else. I wanted to see if the tool might mistakenly label my handwritten code, written by me, a human, as AI generated. So I took one of my own handwritten codes, written in Java, pasted it in, and hit Analyze. And surprisingly, it said there was only a 2% chance that the code was written by AI, meaning it correctly recognized the code as human-written. To make things even trickier, I asked my friend to send me a Java code he had written himself. I pasted his code into the tool and ran the analysis again. And once again, it passed with flying colors. No errors in detection. At this point, I was convinced that the tool is reliable, so I went ahead and recommended it to my friend for use in his own projects. This page shows the plans of this tool. You can use it three times per month in multiple languages. In my opinion, the plans are fair and reasonably priced,
considering the services it provides. Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Bye bye.